yes ma'am is back good morning children say like me yes say good morning ma'am yes say like this walni full of energy you should always wish your ma'am with energy good morning ma'am okay and ma'am is saying good morning to all of you good morning children okay listen children uh, today ma'am is going to ma'am is going to teach you um, lesson 6 in math class ma'am is going to teach you lesson 6 and lesson 6 is addition and subtraction up to addition and subtraction up to 100 and this is my video number 3 and the topic is subtraction you must be thinking why ma'am is going to teach subtraction again earlier also i taught you subtraction yes children you all are right but this time ma'am is going to teach you subtraction but in previous class this was numbers up to only 20 we have done subtraction but the numbers are up to only 20 only but this time the numbers will be big and we will do subtraction up to yes 100 that is 100 okay are you ready children hmm ma'am is ready with book are you ready yes you all are ready very good children let's start our class okay remember children what is subtraction yes children subtraction means taking away something taking away something okay so in this in this topic what we are going to do is we will subtract we will subtract smaller number from bigger number smaller number from bigger number we will subtract smaller number from bigger number we will take smaller number from bigger number is that clear children mm? yes yes you all are correct we will take away small numbers from great number greater number okay suppose if i have to take i have to take 6 from 30 3030 okay what is this if i am taking 6 from 30 So what is this? Thirty is a greater number, and six is a smaller number. And ma'am is taking away six from thirty. That is subtraction. That is subtraction. Got it, children? Yes. So be ready to do all different different type of subtract. First, we will do subtraction using backward counting. We have done addition using forward counting, and we will do. subtraction using backward counting okay yes the first thing which we are going to do on subtraction is subtraction using backward counting okay we will do subtraction using backward counting suppose if uh, if i have to subtract 8 from 50 so how we are going to do we had done the, the same uh, the same thing we have done in previous video also when we are doing subtraction up to number 20 but this time we are going to do with numbers up to 100 the process is same the process is same but only numbers are different suppose i have to subtract 50 from 8 sorry 8 
that time I told you now every time we have to subtract smaller number from greater number so this time 50 is greater number and 8 is a smaller number so what ma'am is going to do is I will subtract 8 from 50 so how I am going to do first of all I have to take out 8 fingers okay and now I will do backward counting how I am going to do backward counting 49 49 48 47 46 45 44 43 and this one is 42 got it this is uh, this is our answer one more time i think we should do okay one more time we should do this time the numbers will be uh, i have to subtract 7 from 80 84 7 from 84 now tell me which one is bigger number yes 84 is a bigger and smaller is 7 so we have to subtract 7 from 84 okay now this time ma'am will take out 7 fingers and I will start doing backward counting from 84 this time 83 82 81 80 79 78 and 77 77 and our answer is 77 and by using this process only you all are going to do subtraction by backward counting got it children now we have to ready for the next subtraction and the name of that subtraction is subtracting tens subtracting tens so children are you ready with your copy and pencil are you yes very good children yes children the name of our topic is subtracting tens <coughs> <coughs> sorry same thing we have done in addition also we have uh, <coughs> we have <coughs> added tens also and this time we have to subtract tens also so see what we have to do subtracting tens means suppose <coughs> i have to subtract 74 i have to subtract from 74 and i have to subtract 30 i have to subtract 30 from 74 74 is a bigger number and 30 is a small number how i am going to write t for tens and o for ones first i will write 7 here 4 here and that put the sign of subtraction that is minus and 3 here and 0 here so first thing uh, if i will subtract 0 from 4 what i will get yes children i will get 4 and if i will subtract 3 from 7 what will i get yes that will also 4 now the second thing which i have to do is uh, this time uh, I will subtract from 66 and which number I will subtract 40 I am going to subtract from 66 again the same thing same process I have to proceed you just tell me what ma'am ma will do first yes you all are right first ma'am will write T then ma'am will write O then after that what ma'am ma will do say beta say don't hesitate if you are right then also it's good and if you are wrong then also it's good ma'am will tell you now what to do next yes i will write six here and six here also okay then i will put the sign of subtraction that is minus and then four here and zero here now tell me children what will i ma'am will get if i will subtract zero from six yes that will be six only and if i will subtract four from six then i will get two only okay children right and ma'am will give you some work also to do in your application book and course book also and for this subtracting tense you will do checkpoint checkpoint six checkpoint six of your course book what you all are going to do yes that will be your homework the first homework is checkpoint checkpoint 5 
of maths course book page number 84 and this homework is for subtraction using backward counting and the second homework that is subtracting tens checkpoint checkpoint 6 maths course book page number 85 very good children this two these two homework you will uh, you will do in your maths course book okay and this now that our uh, third topic is subtraction without carryover subtraction without carryover subtraction without carryover okay children so the first question will be uh, 72 minus 31 so first what ma'am will do write d and o very good children excellent oh my god you learned so quick then ma'am will write 7 and 2 here and then put the sign of subtraction then 3 here and 1 here now what ma'am is going to do is ma'am has to subtract 1 from 2 what will i get yes 1 and if i will subtract 3 from 7 what will i get 4 1 41 41 is our answer one more time we will do the practice and this time the numbers are different 96 minus 96 minus 45 okay then again ma'am will write t and o for tens and ones here i will write 96 and here i will write 45 then put the sign of minus then 6 minus 5 if i will subtract 5 from 6 i will get 1 and if i will subtract 4 from 9 i will get 5 and that is our answer and with and for this subtraction without carry over and for this subtraction without carry over again you are having one homework in your maths course book and that is <clears throat> checkpoint 7 checkpoint 7 of maths course book page number 86 page number 86 children but ma'am want to give you some more homework do you want to take do you want to take children yes children you have to take see worksheet 6.1 application book this ma'am is talking about application book b application book b okay worksheet 6.1 question number b page number 9 and 10 page number 9 and 10 children and children one more worksheet you all have to do and that is worksheet 6.2 and 6.3 all okay and this are all application book homework so you all are going to do this but you know your ma'am very well she will give you homework in your copy also yes you all know me very well because you all have watched so much so many videos which ma'am has made for you all isn't it children yes so the first question will be the first question will be from subtracting tens subtracting tens and that will be 98 minus 30 oh you should tell me now ma'am you forget to write t and o yes now question number two is now question number two is 86 minus 44 yes now the third question is <clears throat> 45 minus 25 and then question number four is 69 minus 26 
okay got it children got it and then one more question is oh i am again forget to write teens and ones tens and ones oh my god how can i do this and my children they are not helping me yes children one more question this time 67 minus 10 okay and the last question is again ma'am forget to yes t and o first and then 40 5 minus 23 that's all children that's all that's all and it's time to say time to say bye bye time to say bye bye say bye bye with full of energy say bye bye to your ma'am bye children bye bye